This was where uh, a temple in the area called Tirukurangudi. So we say generally it, Vajastamba will be exactly facing the deity. If you go to the temple, Vajastamba will be little left side. So while he is walking from his house towards the temple, he was confronted by one Brahma Raksha. Uh, there he was uh, uh, confronting and he said, today uh, you have come and you are my meal. I am supposed to devote you immediately. The next day morning, while he was coming back, Lord came as an old man and asked him, where are you going? This forest path is not good. There is a Brahma Raksha. He will eat. Narayanate Namo Namo Narayanate Namo Namo This was where uh, uh, a temple in the area called Tirukurangudi. Namo Namo So in that way, that whole area is full of divine past things. Namo Namo Narada Sannuta Namo Namo because he is from a lower background, he could not enter the temple. He used to stand behind Vajastamba and he used to sing, chant, and dance. Because of his sincere singing and chanting, Lord requested Vajastamba, see you are standing in between me. I am not able to fully see the mood and the, uh, the feelings of the devotee. Please move aside. So we see generally the deity, Vajastamba will be exactly facing the deity. If you go to the temple, Vajastamba will be little left side. Because Vajastamba was coming obstructing the devotee, the Lord said Vajastamba to move and Vajastamba moved aside. And Lord was able to have darshan. So this devotee was so simple. Every day he used to come uh, for the Shaina Arati and he used to sing in one specific raga so that Lord could sleep. On one Ekadasi, he wanted to do a fasting. Whole day he wanted to spend in the temple. Sing for the Lord to break his fast in the next Dwadasi morning. So while he is walking from his house towards the temple, In one particular forest area, he was confronted by one Brahma Raksha. So this person who has become Brahma Raksha in his previous life was a born Brahmana. But because of bad association and bad habits, so he became a Brahma Rakshasa. So uh, there he was uh, uh, confronting and he said, today you have come and you are my meal. I am supposed to devour you immediately. This devotee started requesting, give me one day opportunity. I will go. This is my last time. I will pray to the Lord and finish and come back. Tomorrow morning you can eat me. Then that Brahma Raksha started questioning it. Many people will say they will go and come back. They will never come back. We know this is the standard principle. But I don't want to believe it. This person started saying, no, I am a very religious person. Uh, I would like to give commitment to the word whatever I have given. No, no, how do I believe? You? Then he explained 18 different commitments. What a person, if he fails in it, what will happen to him? That Papa. He said, if I do not return as per my promise, let me get the sin of a man who is a liar. Let me get the sin of a person who commits adultery if I don't return. While eating in the company of a person, if a man differentiates in menu, you are giving him the best quality and you are giving me low quality, he will get a greater sin. Let me get that sin if I don't return. If a man enjoys the company of a woman during her youthful age and subsequently rejects her when she is old, let me get that sin. If a person tries to elude the wife of a friend, then let me get that sin. A man divorces his wife who is very chaste and has no one to care for her, let me get that sin. A man causes obstruction to the cattle that are afflicted very much by thirst to getting drinking water, let me get that sin. Somebody worship only for other deities and not Lord Krishna, 
then let me get that shield and finally he said yastu narayanam devam brahma rudradi devatai samatve naiva vikshetha sapashandi bhavedruva if he equates narayana to any other demigods that is the highest sin which can never be counteracted there is no opportunity for other other sins there is prayas chitta for this sin if you chant while chanting the holy name if you are trying to derogate the holy name there is no no there is no uh, chance of recovery for of that sin so when he quoted this the brahma rakshasa became yes this sin can never be counteracted so i believe in you you go and come back to me so this devotee went prayed to his heart's content to the lord sang various songs then came back in the next day morning while he was coming back lord came as an old man and asked him where are you going this forest path is not good there is a brahma rakshasa he will eat her story and he said no i have given a word and i have to maintain my word i have given a word means i have to execute that word so i cannot go on back by breaking my promise so lord also became very happy and blessed him to be successful in his endeavor so when he went the lord convinced the brahma rakshasa to forgive him. he said how long i have been uh, surviving here and eating people you give me moksha he said uh, i can't do anything lord only can give you moksha finally he said please sing that song what you have sung for the lord so that i i will also be very happy in hearing that song and uh, i'll become liberated when he sang the song brahma rakshasa became liberated an aerial airplane came from the spiritual world took him back home back to god momentary association with the devotee even brahma rakshasa got liberated so so what to speak of we got the opportunity of association with propa so we have to utilize this opportunity and make our life successful